What's up, Dark Souls fans, and welcome back to Praise the Sun. We got another episode of Dank Souls lined up here. Let me show you my build before I forget. I'm going to be using the Arced Sword. It's the Murakumo's Mirror. does the same exact moveset and uh, still gets the speed parries and everything. So, <laughs> pretty fucking sweet weapon. Um, I also like the way it looks better. Um... But yeah, just as you can see, <laughs> same exact things work with it as uh, the Murakumo, <coughs> since it has the same exact moveset. So, let's see if we can get any kind of super parries going. I could have parried that. I could have parried that. And I didn't. I was too scared. Oh, ouch. Oh my god. Yeah, that's why I'm scared. I'm only wearing singer's dress and thief mask. <laughs> I take a lot of damage right now, but that's alright. We're gonna get this shit going. Oop. Nope. Nice try. Get on the fucking dirt, bruh. Hit the fucking dirt. Let's go, Vorinclex. What you got? What you got? Nothing. GG. GG. Alright. <laughs> I'm really liking this arc sword. Oh shit, I forgot to check the time. I guess that took about a minute, so... <coughs> Let's see... Gotta keep track of that time. And I cannot get a summon, but someone let me in on a secret. If you drop your sign and cancel it, it refreshes all the other signs. Maybe. Okay, yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Cool. Very awesome, awesome fucking... Uh, piece of advice. Thank you so much. I, I can't remember the name of the person who uh, told me that, but thank you so much. It is huge. I've been using it pretty recently. Um, Alright, we gotta fight, man. Actually, I'm gonna just kill the... Uh, oh, this guy's the invader. Oh, it's not uh, the other guy. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Now get back up and get wrecked some more. And that's how we gonna play this. It's a little game I like to call Get Wrecked. Here we go. Mm. Oh, shit. Missed. Missed, 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 missed. That's alright. He's using a rapier, so I'm gonna opt for the faster moveset of the one-handed attacks. And... Dead. GG. <coughs> And that's what I was talking about uh, in the strategy guide. That's a perfect example of it. When when your opponent is just rolling all of your strong attacks and all your two-handed attacks, it's a good idea to switch to the one-handed moveset since it's significantly faster and you can just very easily catch them off guard, especially if you use it unlocked. So, ow, yeah, buffed weapons are going to hurt right now. That fucking hurt. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's just going to out-trade me. That's what's going to happen. I fucked up, and it's over already, I think. No, 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 we're making the comeback. It could happen. It could happen. GG! Fuck yes! Fuck yes! I'm on a roll right now! This is gonna be a good-ass episode of Dank Souls. Abigail? No. Somebody? There we go. <laughs> oh, man. I just ran out of repair powders, though, before I started recording. Uh, so, fuck, I'm gonna have to make bonfire visits in this video. That sucks. <clears throat> Assuming I don't just, like, die, you know, at some point, so... <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I don't think anyone can stop the power of the fucking Murakumo moveset. This thing is godlike. Oh, come on. Drop it, cancel it, and that guy was already there, okay, drop it, cancel it, come on now, <laughs> come on FromSoft, I'm trying to record something here, you pieces of shit, let's go, holy fuck guys, holy fuck, holy fuck. Fuck, I hate this game sometimes. I, like, seriously fucking hate this game sometimes. Because you know there's, like, a hundred signs on this bridge, and for whatever reason, none of them are showing up. And this is like, fuck this game. Jesus. Like, fix your goddamn netcode. Fix your goddamn servers. Please. Oh man. Oh man.
man. Hurry up with it. Hurry up with it. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Can I run in and get a super parry, you think? I might be able to. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of my time. Now I know why people attack me when they come in. <laughs> GG! I won the duel! <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> oh, man. Was that guy also wearing Singer's dress? I didn't see it. I don't ever see very many people wearing this. And in the very first video that I wear it, someone's copping my swag. Like, what the fuck, man? Don't take my outfits. <laughs> Let's do this, Duncan. Hopefully that Estus heal not showing up isn't indicative of how laggy this game is going to be. We'll have to see. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's switching weapons. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I had no idea. I thought he was going to run away, so I had, to, I had to jump on that ass right quick, you know? Like, <laughs> how many people end up fucking running to the enemies on an episode of Dank Souls? It's like every episode someone fucking does it. Ow, nice jumping attack. Oh, fuck. GG, GG. <laughs> Man, I hope that cough wasn't too loud. I don't want to bro... Blo Bra, 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 bra. I don't want to blow out anyone's eardrums. Let's find somebody else. Mr. Raim. I dueled him just like maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. I think we had a good fight. I don't remember. I don't remember. I go through these signs like fucking constantly. <laughs> it's like whenever I'm practicing with a weapon, head to iron keep, fucking just spam the shit out of some duels. Although I've been playing a lot more arena recently. Um... Oh yeah, now I remember him. Yeah, I dueled him with the Butcher's Knife a little bit ago. But I didn't want to make another Dank Souls with the Butcher's Knife. And a lot of people were asking me, how's the Arc Sword? So, figured I'd answer that question with this video. It's basically exactly the same thing. <laughs> Not much more to say about it. <laughs> uh, although, someone did say it had longer reach. I don't know if I believe that. Nice sweet spot, dude. Apparently, if you, um, oh, oh, we got the sweet spot that time. But yeah, if you get hit by a spin to win and it's not a sweet spot, you can just R1 straight out of that because you're going to recover faster than they do. They have to hit with the sweet spot or else they're just totally punishable. It's got a very long recovery time. Alright, going to switch to one-handed, get those speed swings in. GG. GG. He tried to go for that backstab, but those unlocked one-handed R1s, guys, this is that is your best fucking defensive tool with this weapon. It is absolutely incredible. <laughs> uh, but uh, I definitely advise just using the, um, the main two-handed moveset more than the one-handed moveset, like especially for your offense, because you're going to be a lot less parryable and a lot less predictable. Like, using these one-handed R1s does make you predictable, which is why they're good for defense rather than offense. Because if you use them for offense, you're going to get predicted, you're going to get parried, it's going to fucking hurt. Um, and th with the two-handed moveset being it, basically the exact same thing except slightly slower than the one-handed moveset, there is no good reason to uh, use the one-handed moveset on offense, especially with that shitty-ass... Um, whatever attack it's called. Um, what is it fucking called? The, uh... <laughs> we're just, like, spacing. Oh, man, we got a little bit of a freeze there. That was weird. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the one-handed sprinting attack. It, I mean, it's not shitty. It's not shitty. When I was using Crit Black Sword, I actually really found this attack useful, and it's the same exact attack as the one-handed sprinting on Crit Black Sword, but the reason I don't find it so useful on this weapon is because you've got this amazing two-handed sprinting attack. And the Crit Black Sword two-handed sprinting attack is also awesome, but it's also just a downward smash, which means, um... Oh 
man. I don't have a spell parry shield. I should probably <laughs> equip one of those. I've been relying on that for so fucking long. Spell parries are so good. But yeah, um, Crypt Black Swords two-handed sprinting attack is just a downward smash. It's not an arc. So, in other words, it's a good thing to use the one-handed moveset occasionally for the sprinting because of the fact that it's an arc. You can hit people a little bit easier with it. You got mix-ups and stuff. But since both sprinting attacks on this are an arc, I see almost no reason to use the one-handed moveset except to throw off somebody's parry timing, maybe. Speaking of, I am going to switch to the one-handed moveset, and we're going to see what we can do against this Plague Dune. Actually, I don't need to switch to the one-handed moveset just yet. <coughs> well, he's rolling a lot. Maybe I will. Oh my god. This may be the first loss. We'll see. It's not looking good right now. I'll tell you that much. I wish I had a ranged weapon so bad for when people do that. I've really got to, like, fix that, but... I almost, like, don't even believe in ranged weapons on a melee build. Um, it just kind of feels like... Uh, I mean, they're great for certain situations. Like, in that situation, it would be awesome, like, when I can't hit him at all in melee. But uh, carrying around a ranged weapon, it just makes it a little bit too tempting to just, like, use over your melee weapon in certain situations, which can make your build more effective, of course. I'm not going to deny that. GG, fuck yes. Um, but yeah, uh, it can make your build more effective. I'm definitely not going to deny that. just feels a little cheap to me. Um, I used to run a great bow on, like, every single one of my melee builds, and it was extremely effective, but I also found myself... Um, a lot of times, let me check the time, okay, yeah, this is probably gonna have to be, uh, let's see, yeah, this is probably gonna have to be the last duel, unless it ends quickly, but, um, <coughs> yeah, the, uh, ball sack, I don't even remember what I was gonna say, fuck, dude, I'm spacing, never mind, I'll finish that thought in the comments section, if it was anything interesting, but I don't even remember if it was anything interesting, so... <laughs> Get fucking smashed, dude. Eat dirt. That is your fucking job right now. Eat the fucking dirt. Let's go, Sausage Wallet. Thank you for invading, because we are short on time. I appreciate that. Let's do this. You have perfect timing. Ooh, Scythe of Nar Alma. Or is that Bone Scythe? Yeah, this is Bone Scythe. That midget-ass range on it. Get smushed. And, oh, he didn't parry bait. I thought he was going to parry bait, so I just went immediately into that two-handed R2. But I guess not. And it's just like every empty jumping attack makes me think it's a parry bait, because empty jumping attacks are kind of dumb to use. GG, Sausage Wallet. All right, and I think I have... How many seconds was that? Okay. All right, I got a minute and a half, I believe. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, come on. Somebody. Anybody. Let's go. I gotta... We gotta move. We gots to move. Alright, so... I'm gonna eat that shit. I hope that doesn't, like, create some kind of persistent heal after you're maxed out. I don't, I don't know if it does or not, but hopefully not. Either way, hopefully it'll have worn off by the time we start this duel. Okay, bow. Okay, he doesn't want to bow. Perfect. Perfect. I don't even have to be an asshole in this one. I haven't been an asshole to anybody in this Dank Souls. That almost seems, like, uncharacteristic of Dank Souls. <laughs> you gonna do something other than try to parry me while I'm two-handing a Murakumo, or what? That fucking Jester's Chest. This guy is a champion. Oh my god. What a waste of time for the last duel. Whatever, guys. <laughs> GG's to the people I dueled. Have a great day and praise the sun. I'll see you for the next episode of Dank Souls. And also, I am streaming tomorrow. So check the description. I'll have the times there. Later, guys.